welcome back to the channel HB and our families so in this video I'm going to show you how to sew polo shirt like a pro so if you don't know how to draft the pattern kindly check my channel or check the description section below I've dropped the link to how to cut the pattern of the polo shirt so let's get started so please pay full attention to the sewing section so this is my flap I've already iron the gum still on it the wideness is three inches and the length is seven inches and you can make it longer than that so i've already not the center of the front neck so i'm going to place the flap on it like this at the center of the front neck i'm going to stitch 0 0.5 inch half of an inch in this area So I'm using two buttons for this flap. So I'm going to make the length of the flap to be six inches. So if you wish, you can make it seven inches. It, de it depends on your choice. But here I'm using six inches in length. So I'm going to run my stitch till the six inches I marked. So I will turn it like this and I'm going to place the second flap on it as well. I'm going to make a stitch of 0.5 as I did in the first flap. When I'm done with my stitching, I'm going to cut the flap. I'm going to cut the center I stitched like this. Please pay full attention and don't miss any step. So I'm going to fold it and I'm going to turn it in. I will do the same thing here. I'll make sure that it rhymes with each other. So after that, I'm going to sew it in this area. I'm going to stitch it down. Please, if you are new on this channel, please kindly subscribe to the channel so that whenever I drop an amazing video like this, you will get notified. So the flap is... So I, I need to make a stitch here also just to hold the flap down. So as you can see that our flap is neatly stitched. So I've already marked my pocket area, so the pocket opening is 3.5 inches and I marked from the top to 9.5 and the distance between the flap and the pocket is 1.5 inches, I forget to measure that. So I'm going to start my stitch here.
so next thing is to stitch my flap here as you can see that i start at the middle so i'm not going to start at the top because i haven't attached my collar and it will never give room for me to attach collar if i stitch it to the top so and if you wish you can you can also leave it without stitching it depends on your decision so i'm going to stop here also and i'm going to finish the stitching after i attach the collar to it so now we are going to move on to the sleeve hemming so when i when i'm cutting my sleeve pattern i added one extra one inches for the hemming allowance so i've not the one inches and i'm folding in the one inches now So after that i'm going to turn it to the right side and i'm going to make a stitch on it as well so the distance between the first stitch and the st second stitches i'm making now it can be like just a teeth of the machine feet as you can see how it looks like it looks perfect no now we are going to move on to the joining of the clothes together so i'm starting with the locking of the flap hand so i'm going to lock the edge of the flap after that i'm going to place the back facing up and i'm going to place the front facing down so the right face will face each other and i'm going to join the shoulder area together after that i'm going to attach sleeve to it so the center area i notch at the sleeve must match with the shoulder seam area so the notch area match with the shoulder seam I'm going to do the same thing here. Now I'm going to join the side area from the hand to the waist area of the cloth. Now next thing is to attach the collar to the neck. So I'm going to turn it to the wrong side as well. Now my collar height is 3 inches and the length is 14 inches. This is ready made collar. I bought it. So I'm going to notch the center of the collar and also I'm going to notch the center of the back neck of the clothes as well now i'm going to trim the flap after trimming the flap i'm going to notch the center of the flap now I'm going to attach my collar to the neck of the clothes. So my collar will start at this area. It will never reach the notch part of the placket or the flap area. So it's, go it's going to beat at the middle. I'm going to stitch it here. And also it will never reach the notch area. It's going to be at the middle. So after I stitch this area also, I'm going to start from the 
first path now i'll make sure that the center back i notched is placed with the center of the collar so the center back and the center of the collar is placed together So I'm done with the joining of my collar to the neck. So I still have to do some finishing in the neck and the collar area so that it will look nice and perfect. Now I'm going to make a back tape in the neck and I'm going to attach my size tag as well so i'm going to start here and i'm going to stitch like 0.1 or a teeth of a sewing machine foot like this and i'm going to make it a bend i'm going to make a slant stitch here so before start before applying before attaching my back tape this is my back tape it's a ready made one I'm going to be stitching it till it reaches the second flap area. So this length stitches i made in the first flap i'm going to do the same thing here so when i'm done with the stitches I'm, I'm going to cut out this area i'm going to do the same thing at the second flap as well now i'm going to turn it to the i'm going to turn the flap to the right side so I'm going to start the closing of the back tape from here And the center back I notch, I'm going to put my size tag there. So I'm going to attach my size tag at the center back I notched. So I'm going to run the stitches to the second flap so i'm going to stop the stitches here so we are done with the stitching of back tape at the neck area so now i'm going to turn it to the right side and I'm going to finish the top stitch I'm making before. So if you remember, I started at the middle, but here I'm going to start at the top because I've already attached the color to it. So it's not the most to make this top stitch at the flap area. It, uh, it's just a matter of decision. I just wish to do it.
so i'm done with the stitching and let's see how the cloth itself is going to look this is how it looks as you can see that it looks perfect and accurate so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever i drop new video you will get notified thanks for watching hbnr